Did you know that the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 30 was actually the first sports car in history? It was the year 1911, a time when the world was taking its first steps into the age of automobiles. The stage was set for something revolutionary, something that would redefine the boundaries of speed and luxury. And it was in this setting that the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 was born. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 didn't just have a regal name, it was named after an actual king, King Alfonso XIII of Spain. Now King Alfonso wasn't just any king, he was a king with a penchant for speed and an appetite for innovation in the world of automobiles. So, when a car was named after him, it had a lot to live up to. The car didn't disappoint. It was the brainchild of Mark Burkett, a Swiss engineer of great renown, who teamed up with Spanish investors to create a car that was as powerful as it was elegant. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 was more than just a car. It was a statement, a testament to the ingenuity of its creators and the vision of its namesake. When the car was unveiled, it was met with awe and admiration. It was a marvel of engineering, a work of art on wheels. It was fast, it was sleek, and it was unlike anything the world had seen before. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 was not just a car, it was a sensation. And so, it's not surprising that the car was received with resounding applause and widespread acclaim. It was praised for its power, its design, and its ability to deliver an unparalleled driving experience. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 was not just a car, it was a revolution. And so the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13, named after a king and designed by a genius, began its journey as the first sports car. What set the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 apart from its contemporaries was its revolutionary design. When you think about the Alfonso 13, you're thinking about a car that was ahead of its time, a car that was designed with the future in mind. The first thing that stands out about this car is its engine. Unlike most engines of its era, which were made of heavy, cumbersome iron, the Alfonso 13 sported a lightweight aluminum engine. This not only made the car lighter and easier to handle, but it also allowed for greater speed and acceleration. Imagine the thrill of being behind the wheel of such a machine, experiencing the open road like never before. But the engine was just the beginning. The Alfonso 13's chassis was a work of art. It was designed in such a way that it provided a lower center of gravity, which in turn provided better stability on the road. This wasn't just about creating a car that looked good, it was about creating a car that performed better that provided a smoother, more enjoyable ride. And let's not forget about the car's reliability. The Alfonso 13 was a car you could trust, a car you could count on. It was built to last, with robust components and a design that was meant to withstand the test of time. This made it a popular choice among the rich and famous, who valued not just the car's speed and style, but also its dependability. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 wasn't just a car, it was a statement. It was a sign of things to come, a glimpse into the future of automotive design. It was a car that dared to be different, that dared to defy convention. And in doing so, it set a new standard, not just for luxury cars but for all cars. With its technical innovations, the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 set a new standard for luxury cars. This was a car that didn't just meet expectations, it exceeded them. And in doing so, it changed the way we think about cars forever. However, the First World War soon interrupted the success of the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13. Just when the car was starting to find its groove in the market, the world was thrown into chaos. The war demanded a shift in production, a change in direction, but it was a challenge Hispano Suiza was ready to meet. During this time, the company pivoted to a new cause, putting the production of the Alfonso 13 on hold. Instead, they focused their efforts on producing aircraft engines, a critical need for the war effort. They created the Hispano Suiza Vive 8, a liquid-cooled V8 aircraft engine. This engine was a marvel of the era, a testament to the company's ingenuity and versatility. The Hispano Suiza Vive 8 quickly became one of the most widely used aircraft engines of the First World War. It powered some of the most formidable aircrafts of the time, contributing significantly to the war effort. And while the company was known for its luxury automobiles, it was this shift to aircraft engine production that really demonstrated the strength of their engineering prowess. However, this pivot was not without its consequences. The production of the Alfonso 13 was halted, a decision that was felt deeply by car enthusiasts and the company alike. This remarkable vehicle with its revolutionary design and unmatched performance was put on the back burner. The company's focus was now entirely on supporting the war effort. The war years were challenging. 
both for Hispano Suiza and the Alfonso 13. The company had to adapt, to shift gears in a way it hadn't anticipated. But in the face of adversity, they rose to the occasion, proving their resilience and versatility. Despite the interruption, the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13's legacy lived on. The car, though not in production, was not forgotten. Its spirit was kept alive in the hearts of those who knew its worth. And while the war years were a departure from its intended path, they served to highlight the company's commitment to ingenuity and adaptability, qualities that are still associated with the Hispano Suiza name today. As the world recovered from the war, so did the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13. This was not merely a comeback, it was a resurgence. The Hispano Suiza brand, etched in resilience and innovation, picked up the pieces and got back to doing what it did best, creating masterpieces on four wheels. The post-war era saw the introduction of new models that were a testament to the brand's unwavering commitment to excellence. These were not just cars, they were symbols of hope, of a world moving forward, of a brand that refused to be deterred by the adversities of war. The ongoing popularity of the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 among the elites was undeniable. It was more than just a car, it was a statement, a status symbol. Kings, queens, movie stars and tycoons were all drawn to its allure. Its unique design combined with its powerful performance made it the automobile of choice for those who demanded nothing but the best. This was not just a car that catered to the desires of the rich and famous. It was a car that revolutionized the automotive industry. Its innovative design features, its powerful engine and its unmatched performance set new standards in the world of automobiles. It was a car that others aspired to be. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 was a trendsetter, a game changer. It broke the mold and set a new path for others to follow. It was a car that dared to be different, dared to be better. It was a car that refused to be just another car. The post-war comeback of the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 was nothing short of a phenomenon. It was a beacon of hope in a world recovering from the ravages of war. It was a symbol of resilience, of the indomitable spirit of the Hispano Suiza brand. Even after the war, the Hispano Suiza Alfonso the 13 continued to leave its mark on the world of automobiles. Today the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 stands as a symbol of a bygone era. A time when innovation and luxury coalesced into a singular, magnificent creation. As we look back it's clear that this iconic car has left an indelible mark on the automotive world, one that continues to resonate to this day. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13's design was revolutionary, a fact that didn't go unnoticed by future car creators. Its innovative features from the groundbreaking engine to the elegant bodywork set a new standard for sports cars. It was a beacon of inspiration, guiding the design of countless automobiles that followed. It was, in many ways, the blueprint for the modern sports car. This car's legacy is not confined to the design studios though. It has also found an enduring place in the hearts of car enthusiasts around the globe. The Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13's blend of power, style and luxury has an enduring appeal that transcends generations. It's not just a car, it's a piece of history, a work of art that represents the pinnacle of early 20th century automotive design. And let's not forget the thrill of seeing one of these rare beauties in person. Sightings are few and far between but when they do occur it's a moment of pure magic. Auctions too are a sight to behold. When a Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 goes under the hammer, it's a spectacle that draws attention from all corners of the globe. The excitement, the anticipation, the awe as the final bid is called. It's a testament to the enduring allure of this extraordinary car. So as we close this journey through time, let's take a moment to appreciate the legacy of the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13. It's a legacy of innovation, of luxury, of style and of power. It's a legacy that has shaped the automotive world in countless ways. More than a century later, the Hispano Suiza Alfonso 13 remains a testament to the spirit of innovation and luxury that defined its time.